so uh, we are back here in the world that I created just to demo after gameplay back at the brand new Ori's camp revised and expanded call it second edition I was thinking about putting a, a roof line on it um, but haven't gotten there yet anyway I was asked to do a video if I could on building repair and I did film some of this I edited it out of the last video I'll, I'll see if I can get that footage and put it back in but I came in here cleaned it up oh looks like I left a platform Uh, cleaned it up and everything else. I did prep. I brought some materials. Now again, I don't use building mods, but I do use fat stacks and uh, epic item in any slot, uh, which is a new new one, which is very useful when you're taking stuff between worlds or you're doing a lot of construction. By the way, this torch, the reason I'm carrying it is because you can see like I just noticed that I missed an area here which without this torch or proper light just doesn't it's just hard to see Now this is difficult to fix. This is one of the column shafts and it you can't add it because the other stuff is still in the way and the system won't let you add it back. Which personally I find annoying. I mean I hate having to destroy something that I can't replicate like that bottom piece up there and not be able to put this one back. So when you do this type of work, I'm going to warn you right now, it's not going to be perfect. I mean, there's, that's an example. Uh, you don't always have the pieces like way up there. If you see up to my right where I left rope, I guess. Um, I guess I'll go get that. Uh, this top piece here, the, on the top of the wood, the horizontal pieces, this top piece of trim up there, none of those are, are, can't get any of those today. You'll notice that right behind me in the center of the screen, upper part, there's that area I was just in, both the top and bottom of that wall, not replicatable. The closest I could get was over there where I replicated that but it's not, if you look close, it is not the same. And so if you're looking for perfection, um, repair might not be for you. Of course, if you're looking for perfection, the build system in this game might not be for you. But if you can live with getting it close enough to look good at distance, uh, I think you'll be just fine. So let's take a quick trip. I think there's a building over here. Of course, now all my buffs are gone. Yeah, here's a building. Looks pretty decrepit. Now, I like doing hobgoblet logger. It's why I was uh, going crazy trying to find a brewery but we have a workaround all right so take out your adamant hammer or whatever you have oh, I might have started this a little bit anyway probably didn't get very far though start hitting
If you're on a PC, every morning I back up my worlds. Um, I don't know if there's a way to do it. PS5. Oh, door dash. Thank you. Anyway, um, don't forget to back up your games. That way, if you make a mistake, and sometimes when I'm doing a large reconstruction like that, um, I back up the game. I, I'll do some stuff. I'll load and unload to test. The best way of testing whether or not things are stable. Unfortunately, I did put in a feature request for a button that basically loaded and unloaded the game or rebuilt the area you were standing in. I said for our hardcore construction people, having a button that you just hit, that would uh, put you back to the black screen with the anvil and reload where you are, save us a lot of and you don't have to use it, right? I mean, if you don't want it, use it. Notice the construction. I usually put a barrier, whether it's adamant or granite, on top of a wall. And that covers the distance where the floor is going to be while keeping the height all the way around. I started mirroring that I did a while ago. Um, I think the barriers, the adamant barriers, the, uh, granite barriers, they might have tweaked them to give them a little more strength than other ones. And I've had a lot of success keeping stuff to Be careful from tuck behind other pieces. The biggest problem with the game, the repair and build system game right now, when it comes to repairing building, I should say the repair, is that sometimes layers hide other things. Your pickaxe has a cone of effect from the point right in front of you, outward in a cone. And if you're in a a large mining node, you can actually see it. It looks like a radius out hit with the pickaxe, and the bigger the pickaxe, the more powerful the pickaxe, the bigger the blast. But this hammer only hits the things that you see. So I put in a request to get it changed so it has a conal effect. I think a lot of our problems with the way um, if you could get at the things that need fixing. But right now, it's near impossible to get to them all. There's places in Doro Delph where buildings are up against buildings, and some of the outside is not accessible from the inside. One day I know I repaired a building, reloaded it, Part of a wall just disappeared, and then I realized, oh, I couldn't get to a piece back there. Weird that it happened on a reel, but I must have damaged something just enough. And before, um, before you start putting up platforms and scaffold and everything else make sure to run through like I'm doing here and repair for some reason and I hope it's a bug and not a design choice when you put up a quick platform or anything like that and you take it down you seem to do damage okay I don't know why that's doing that let's use that trick I was just told about that worked Nope. Uh, 
Oh, well, that's odd. There's obviously a layer here on top of another layer. I like the hop goblet because you can just keep hitting stuff with the hammer and moving on. You don't have to worry about losing your stamina. Now oh, look at that. That's a doorway that doesn't exist in the game for us. Wonder if that's on my list of pictures that I sent in as, bu as missing pieces. I'm sure they're mighty annoyed at me by now. I've been sending in a lot of stuff. But, you know, sometimes the squeaky wheel gets the grease. Check all the walls. Now, these walls are really the adamant pillars turned sideways. Some are structural. Um and not needing of repair. Oh. Or if it's not that exact piece, it's a similar piece. Like this ridge here is not repairable. This looks damaged, but I can't target it. My logger ran out. So these, this sideways is how you can make a flat wall column shaft or adamant column shaft. Alright, gotta go up there. Uh, let's get down here real quick. Oh.
don't fight in one of these buildings. <laughs> You're just asking for it to fall down. Now those pieces aren't in the game for us, but uh All right. I'll take care of these. Hold on. I love the death from above move. I believe this is one of the pieces that can't be repaired. Which is a shame because it looks ugly. Wonder if that arrow trick will work. Well, it did destroy it. <laughs> it's too bad it wouldn't let me repair it. Anyway, let's go back inside. Good light source is important. Ah, here's a hidden piece. This is obviously the top and bottom of a column. So if you were to somehow damage that without noticing it, it's probably support the junction between those walls, which is a major piece of support to carry the load. So That's the type of thing I'm talking about. Very hard to see. Sometimes it's covered up. I can't reach any of that yet. Now here's another one. Ah, uh, see, that one couldn't even tell. Patience is the key. See, that one doesn't look repairable. Yeah. Before we get carried away, I am going to repair as much as I can. This model of building has a lot of intricate parts for some reason. Not one of my favorites to repair. I can't reach that.
Uh, that looks like a top of a pillar. See how it was hard to see? You can barely see it flicker. I think that's a rendering thing. I have a decent NVIDIA card. But some days, or some models, and it sometimes it depends on reload. I think it's trying to rectify overlaid meshes to figure out which one to display. Of course, I'm no graphics UI expert, so... needs to be replaced. This needs to be repaired. That needs to be replaced. Alright, let's try this trick again. He was right. It does better job at targeting. Question is, is now can I replace it? Oh, I gotta build near a hearth. Crap. right on that intersection. I'm going to have to go make some more crossbow bolts. Those crossbow bolts will disappear in a minute. Can't deconstruct that, so we will smash it. But I only do that after I've fixed everything I possibly can fix. Now I'll fix the damage done by the bolts, and those pieces won't look damaged anymore. One of my commenters online told me about that trick. Good trick. That looks like a barrier. I'm 
Maybe if I did this one first, it helped me lock it in. Angles, sometimes everything. Where'd it go? Sometimes it won't figure it out. Just go with a small element block. Nope. Nope. If you remove this, it will break down the wall. So I don't recommend doing that. Sometimes you can overlay. Sometimes you can do it from the top with a bigger piece, too. <laughs> you will not kill this dwarf. Did it. <laughs> All right. Let's go uh, deal with the siege. Breaking up my bridge. This is why I like building out of adamant. Because there's no way that these puny goblins are going to get through there. The only sad part is that these little guys don't give us nothing. Should at least give us metal scraps. I like the look of Ori's new and improved building. Uh huh. Okay. Remember, if you do that, repair the damage around it right away before you forget. I wish there was a, play a way to repair these. Like, give me a hook, I'll hang it back up. So now there's a wall behind here. That's against another building that I cannot get to. So... See, I see one number. I backed up because I knew I was, when I saw two, I was doing damage to something else I could not see. I wonder what that is. Um, I could repair that later. I'll just leave. I don't need any more wood. Just looking around. Again, when you repair a model, it would be nice 
to be able to f straighten it. It's part of the repair. Touch those. That's looking a lot better. I saw monsters in the air. No. I don't want to fight anywhere near here, unfortunately. But bats are important. In fact, I'm happy with how many bats are in this world. Seems like I get attacked by bats all the time. That's just awesome. Man, look at that. I am not going to have any trouble. All right, back to work. Put away a weapon before you do anything crazy. All right. Now, I damaged that in the fight just a second ago. Oh. I'm tired. Need a piece of Lembus? No, you're not tired anymore. It is in your best interest to fix as much as you can without building any scaffolding or anything. I usually go over everything twice. Some of these tight spaces are really hard to work in. Sometimes the bigger pieces are easier to place. There we go. Uh, not quite, but close. I think I'll leave it for now. Spending an hour chipping away and repairing everything around it is uh, not something I'm interested in doing right now. But that is your other option. You... Uh,
you basically hit a couple times with your weak pickaxe. You then that one. Yes, it is. See that hidden thing? Mm. Wonder if there. Yeah, there's one on that side too. Ah. Eh, it's hard to tell. I know it's there, but... Alright, let's finish repairing upstairs. All that was non-repairable. This just goes to show if it doesn't look like it's damaged, it might be. And if it does look like it's damaged, it might not be. Let's see if we've done enough. I like repairing from the bottom up and then I go over it again from the top down. The reason I do it from the bottom up is because I notice that I forget to look below me if I damage something sometimes. See, these walls aren't repairable. Hmm. I'm trying to figure out the structure of this building. There's one of those pieces you can't replace. Alright, well, let's see how dangerous I want to be today. One hit. Now hopefully I'll be able to repair that and you won't see it. Well, this permanent wall is a little annoying. Let's 
Sometimes you really gotta contort yourself to get in and out of here. All right. Uh, this looks like shingled adamant, and it's the stout one. Stout sloped wall. Why do I know that? Because I play this game way too much. As my wife will tell you, I'm addicted to it now. That looks like a stout corner piece and two beds. Stout corner. I don't like the fact that they're... Yeah. That one's a hmm. That's interesting. It's embedded in the wall. Square piece, it is. Sometimes I've noticed they use the... This is how I determine those techniques I use, by the way. It's not like it's magic. Um, so by embedding in this wall here, it helps hold up the structure. And it provides support. Now the corner's not the wrong color. And a lot of people are like, but John, there's nothing, uh, you're not even going to see this. I'm like, I know, I know. But I'll know. <laughs> um, question is, can I contort myself to get out of here later? Uh, sometimes I can't repair it, an, it all the way because I can't get out. And I know those walls aren't supposed to be here, but they're embedded enough. Shh, don't tell nobody. All right. I think it's wise, now that that's repaired, to put in the stout sloped wall. And they don't have the shingles in the game, so you can't add those as player options yet.
Hmm. What did they use? Use a barricade? No, that looks off. That having trouble finding the piece. I guess I could try this. Sometimes this works. Problem is, I'm not going to be able to put that back. Well, this is the back corner. No one's going to see it. Damn it. Well, I like being complete, but in this case, I don't think it's going to matter. Wrong button. Oh, no, didn't quite click in place. Obviously, I need more coffee. There we go. Well, it's repaired. I don't know who the hell would be up here, but gather our stuff, clean up. That's a pretty tray ceiling. Wish we had this stuff in the game, devs. <laughs> All right, I've got to repair the this part. Always makes me nervous putting this inside. When I in an area I haven't repaired yet. It's worth taking your time to just slowly go uh, what did I tell you? Right there. Didn't even see it. Look at that. You can't even see it. That's why a cone effect on this thing would be great. Because maybe you wouldn't get it to 100%, but it'd be enough to, to be usable. All right. We're going to put up a piece of scaffolding. We're going to make sure not to embed it. Oh, i got to build near a hearth. Let me go downstairs and put in a hearth. We're going to remove it, so just leaving it there is not a big deal. All right. Ignore the smoke. It's, it's nothing. It'll be fine. Now, not near anything, not embedded into the ground. It, 
if you can help it. Sometimes, like right now, it, it embeds in the ground. That always gets me nervous. Don't try to put it in a place it doesn't want to be. And we're just going to go with one tier high. I don't think this... Now, we already did that from above. All right, it's worth going over all the lattice work. All right, we're going to have to put a little wing on here. Is somebody shooting at me? I think I hear shooting. Hold your breath. All right, nothing fell apart. That's good. All right, I got to get up there. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, that's one of those areas I can't repair. Yeah, I hear a crossbow. I don't know, they really can't get to me in here. hit one ping one ping only please alright now I can tell you that my brain says you really want to remove this but you don't you want to leave it be and you're going to put a granite barrier in its place and you and I will know it's there but trust me the juice is not worth the squeeze Just looking everything over before we do the outside. Oh, not that one. Oh, what are you? No, nope, wrong one. Yeah, look at that. Was hidden. Tricky. See, I know there's stuff behind this wall in the very bottom, like down here, but I mean, this, but you can't get to it. Conal effect, devs, conal effect. Trust me. There we go. Oh, more bats. That is awesome.
Hop goblet. I'm no longer tired. Take a beer on the go. Okay, now the difficult part. We're going to need some light. So I'm going to put up some Affian lamps. Don't really need these while you're inside. Not that they wouldn't hurt. I, I usually carry enough for six. Just like in real construction, light is important. Now I did the outside and the top. I mean the inside and the top, but now I have to do the outside. And I always save the outside for last. Hmm. Oh, it's colliding with the lamp. Damn it. Bad lamp placement, John. Bad lamp placement. How many times does that happen in real life? I'm telling you. You just put something up and you're like, oh, damn it, I gotta take it down. Because you put it in the wrong spot. Now, this is a tight area. Normally, I use the wider. Now you're going to avoid attaching things to the building itself. Oh, damn it, I hit the wrong one again. However, if you want to put something on a pillar, that's just fine. Ah, there's a tricky one right there. And you can't trust you will always see the damage. Best to... Like that. Doesn't look damaged at all. Scaffolding and quick platforms are your friend. Oh, there's something tucked back in there. Not a lot of good spots here. Oh, there's something.
Oh, more goblins. Oh! Yeah. Damn it. Now that's going to be a pain to get out of or back into. Because, of course, I put that in a very inconvenient spot. Bunk. That's pretty much maximum height before you take damage. Ooh, that was close. Yeah, this type of scaffolding would not be uh, approved on the job site today. Let's just say that. And damn it, that did connect. Okay, well. And I keep eating my food when I shouldn't. Just have to pray there's nothing in there I can't see. Like that. Now, unfortunately, this piece is not available to us. We do have a few crowns. I mean, we could dress that up because it's damaged, or we can leave it plain. I usually leave it plain. Depends if I can get this lined up right. Sometimes these pieces do not like to fit in over top of others, but these crown pieces do. Eh. Not great, but not horrible either. That was a stretch, but it worked. Not horrible, but, you know, when they come back and put it in, I'll go over the buildings and figure out what I did wrong. Uh, okay, now let's hold our breath to make sure nothing falls down. This is my favorite part about scaffolding in this game. Only scaffolding in real life was that easy to take down. All right. I don't know how long that took in real life, but uh, it's probably an 
hour and a half, two hours, somewhere in there. Take down your work plates. I usually put a couple torches on the outside of them to mark them. That way I know they're done. Oh, I'm out of resources. What am I out of? Metal fragments. I must have dropped them all off. Alright, that's going to bother me. <laughs> just one. I didn't remember the last time I collect cranberries, but it looks like I just did it. That's right, because I just brewed. Yeah, see, I put a couple torches on. Just enough to know that you've been here, you redid this building. This building is as good as it's going to get. Now, what did I do with my... Oh, there they are. So here's a trick, and I'm sure people know this, but you can, let's say you wanted a, three lamps with you, right? You just put them down. It's not really a trick. If the, inf if the stuff was in your inventory, it comes out of there first. If it's not, then it comes out of the boxes in the hearth area you're in. And then you load it, and bam, you've got three worths. Alright, I'm going to go put some lamps back on it. Kill that bat. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. Repairing buildings in any place is exactly the same. And so, um, take your time. Repair before you destroy. Try to keep destruction to an absolute positive minimum. Don't sneeze at the wrong thing or the building will fall down. Uh... If you like it, hit like and subscribe. Tell me what else you want to see. This was a request video, so I hope you enjoyed it.